Hi, you are watching Arduino Sensor Web APIs. My name is Kashif Baig and I will be demonstrating a project that has been developed using a new MVC framework which promotes a professional software design. This is the first of six projects in increasing order of complexity. Visit my website to download the source code and framework libraries and whilst you are there you can find out about my ebook Arduino Web Development Pushing the Limits. It lays the foundations of a professional approach to web development using the Arduino platform. It has lots of coding examples and exercises to get you upskilled quickly. And so back to the presentation. You can build a source code using the latest Arduino IDE. I recommend using the freely available Visual Studio code if you want to take advantage of Arduino server pages. Watch until the end of the presentation to find out more. To get the Web API example working, you will need a network enabled Arduino or compatible, and it will also help if you have a 9 in 1 sensor shield. If you don't have one, then you can adapt the source code to suit your circumstances. I'm going to be using an Uno with integrated Ethernet and will be reading values from the DHT sensor and light dependent resistor or LDR. Connecting a web client to the UNO shows the sensor values that have been served in JSON format. So if the LDR is obscured, the lighting percentage is reduced. And if we apply heat to the DHT sensor, the temperature reading rises. The web clients will have to be refreshed to see the updated values. So in our class diagram, we can see the relationship between the model view and controller classes. The sensors model has the responsibility for reading the sensor values and the sensors JSON view, which depends on the model, renders the values in JSON format. The controller filters the HTTP request and serves an appropriate view. By the way, don't forget to note what is going on in the application main loop. So go ahead, download the code and adapt as required. Web APIs are covered extensively in my book, Arduino Web Developments Pushing the Limits. A major advantage of using Visual Studio Code is that dynamic HTML and JSON contents can be authored using Arduino Server Pages or ASPs. ASPs feature server-side scripting tags that professional web developers will be familiar with. To be able to use ASPs, follow the guidance on my website to configure your computing environment. New web projects can be created from the command line and opened in Visual Studio Code. If I now deploy to an UNO with Ethernet capability, we see starter web pages and a responsive navigation menu. If I paste some code into one of the ASPs and redeploy, when I refresh the browser, we can see the updated web page. And that is how straightforward it gets when you integrate the view builder with Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions about this project, please leave a comment at my website and remember to visit for updates and new tech projects. If you're watching on social media and found this presentation useful, please like and share. Thank you for watching.